Hi, my name is Fabien Vivier. I'm from the UH uh, Manoa Marine Mammal Research Program. So today what we've been doing was operating a drone over a female bottlenose dolphin that's pregnant. And the idea for us is to try to see if we can detect the pregnancy from the drone perspective. We're going to be able to collect a baseline of information so that once we fly the drone or operate the drone in the wild, we're going to be able to detect pregnancy in females in the wild. We're looking at basically estimating a pregnancy rate for those populations in the wild. So working with dolphins in uh, under human care at Dolphin Quest, which is an accredited facility, is really helpful for us because it allows us to have access to those animals and to actually test some of the methodology that we're developing. So those methodologies, we wouldn't be able to develop them if we were to use them straight in the environment because animals don't lay flat or still in the wild and this is what we would need to do in order to basically set up everything. And so far we've been able to detect that what we're doing is actually quite precise and accurate, so we have a good understanding of how, on how the methodology works. Studying a pregnant female, which is a bottlenose dolphin, quite relevant to studying and conserving other species, such as pinna dolphins in Hawaii, even though those species are different species, they're both dolphins and they're sharing some similarities. So if, if we're able to look at pregnancy from the drone perspective on the bottlenose dolphin, the likelihood of detecting pregnancy on the spinner dolphin will be very high as well. This is something that hasn't really been done before. When we go in the wild and collect information on those wild animals, we would be able to compare what we have been collecting on those wild animals to the ones that we've been collecting on the pregnant dolphin at Dolphin Quest. It's been a very good support.